technology is neutral. It becomes what we make it. It reflects the intention of its creators, amplifying the values programmed into it, which means the question isn't whether AI will shape our world. It's what kind of world we will choose to shape through AI. In this episode, we ask, what is the Dharma of technology? What universal truth should guide the development of AI? And how can we ensure this technology becomes a tool for humanity's highest good, aligned with the deeper principles of evolution and harmony? The Aeonic principles that I talk about on this channel offer a framework for conscious evolution. The principles like temporal resonance, harmonic convergence, and symbiotic transformation. They remind us that true progress is rooted in balance, timelessness, and co-creation. For example, when we talk about temporal resonance, AI must be developed with a long-term wisdom, considering not just the present outcomes, but the future impacts of the technologies that we're creating and implementing. For harmonic convergence, AI should be designed to foster unity, understanding, and collaboration between humans and machines. For symbiotic transformation, AI must be a partner in human evolution, supporting growth without replacing the essence of human intuition and creativity. Designing AI systems that not only prioritize efficiency, but also ensure fairness, empathy, and sustainability is the baseline. It's really, re- it's really what we should require because when AI is aligned with universal truths, it becomes a tool for harmony and not just a tool for progress. Intention is everything here. The same tool can be built to destroy or depending on the hand that wields it, it can be used for something to build us up. Intention is everything. It's the same with AI. The consciousness behind the code is what shapes the reality that AI creates. AI systems reflect the data that we feed into them and the intentions they are programmed with along the way. So without conscious intention, AI may unintentionally reinforce harmful biases or prioritize short-term gains over long-term well-being. In fact, it probably will. While AI that's intentionally designed can become a force for liberation, empathy, and deeper understanding for all of humanity. AI doesn't choose its purpose. We do. It's our responsibility to program it with values that reflect our highest intentions. So how can we ensure that AI is programmed with the right intentions to serve humanity's highest good? Well, much of modern technology is driven by the desire for quick results faster growth, faster profits, faster solutions. But if we build AI systems focus only on this short-term gain, we risk creating technology that erodes the foundations of our own well-being, of the well-being of humanity. So we have to, we have to design AI with long-term vision in mind. We have to prioritize the sustainability, not just the the systems, but of the technology itself and how it's implemented, the inclusivity and the harmony that it can create. We have to consider that it not only impacts our lives today, but it's going to shape the lives of future generations. And the decisions that we make today are going to have a huge consequence on the future. Building AI for more long-term well-being is going to require a bit of a shift of from metrics of efficiency to metrics metrics of ethical impact and collective growth, for sure. And the question is, do we as a species have the patience and the foresight to do that? The true evolution is really, it's not about speed, it's about depth and alignment, right? When we look in the past, the evolutionary process has taken its own time. What we face now is AI throwing fuel on that process and speeding it up, accelerating it to such a degree that we, we, I don't know how we're going to keep up. 
the future of AI is not predetermined, that's for sure. It's just that mirror reflecting back the consciousness of its creators. And if we choose to create with wisdom, intention, and alignment, AI can become one of the greatest tools for human evolution and harmony. But it's our responsibility. We, we must decide what values we program into AI technology, what truths we align it with now before it gets much bigger than it is and it's accelerating rapidly. What Dharma would we choose for the systems that will shape our future? Because in the end, AI is not here to determine the direction of humanity. It's here to amplify the direction that we choose and give to it. The question is, what future do we want to create and how will we ensure that AI serves our highest good? The answer is in our hands. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is that AI isn't just about what it can do, but what it should do. Its greatest power lies in how we intentionally guide it, ensuring that its evolution is aligned with universal truths and the well-being of humanity. If this resonates with you, stay connected in the next episodes, we'll explore the visionary path beyond the emergence, uh, the merging of AI and humanity and consciousness and consider how AI can shape our collective future in harmony with the prince of the aeonic principles that I talk about. If you're inspired by the potential of conscious technology, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll leave you with this question. What universal principles do you believe should be guide AI development. Love to hear your perspective in the comments. Until next time, remember, it's not the technology that shapes the future, but the consciousness behind it.